Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... Ask a student to distract a sports team member during lunch or anytime they swim. Will they walk on top of the pool or wait outside? Before we get started in today's episode, a lot of you guys told me in the comments, Jay, you forgot to check the info on this white-haired hunk right here. So I'm going to do it right now. And his name is Iruka Dorofino, a very quiet student who rarely speaks, always wants to be in the gym, the track, or the pool, takes club activities very seriously. Okay, we got to try hard over here, guys. There's a rumor that he joined the sports club because he wanted to impress someone he has a crush on. Ooh la la. And I could have sworn that I checked the info on that guy, but whatever. We are going to start off with asking a random student to distract them right now. Please go ask this person if they have the crush on anyone. Text me their answer later. That sounds embarrassing, but I owe you one, so I'll do it. How do you owe me one? What did I ever do for you? I don't even know you. But I'm going to call it right now, guys. I think that they're just going to wait on the outside of the pool. I don't think they're going to walk on the water like they're Jesus or somebody. So let's see here. He's running... And he has to distract this guy. So he's obviously not going to go on the pool. Like I said, he was going to go on the perimeter. Yeah, he's just running around. He's waiting for this dude. This guy is literally swimming away from him. And he's not going on the water. Alrighty, guys. So we have our very lovely Mind Slave assistant right over here. We are going to tell her to end. Who's Laifu? You know what? This guy is so freaking evil. He just looks like he smells nasty. And he looks nasty. And his Wolverine type of hair is nasty. So she's going to go after him. I don't think she's going to walk on water either. But we just got to try it with a regular student and a mind slave so we can officially confirm it. But let's see here. She's walking around. She's not going to go on top, right? Well, the guy's already outside of the pool. So this is not going to work. Wait. Stop. Stop. Wait. I know what to do. We're going to talk to him. Can I talk to you, please? I can't talk to him. Why can't I talk to you? She's going to kill you in your little leopard skin tights. Oh, my God. Okay, we got to try this again. Wait, did I say leopard skin tights? Bruh. I mean tiger stripe tights. All right, here we go, guys. This time, I got her to go after the green-haired guy right in the middle. Just so I know that she's either going to walk on water or she's going to wait on the outside. If I went for the orange-haired guy again, he's already going to be on the outside of the pool. So let's see where she goes because he's right here. He's swimming for his life right now, and she's just walking right on the outside. So to answer the question, are they going to walk on top of the pool or wait outside? You can see right here exactly what she's doing. On to the next one. One, get a mind slave to kill one of the sports club members. Two, make sure that they are in the locker room. Will the mind slave be able to go into the locker room, or will they just wait outside? And before we do anything else, we got to make sure that we can get inside the locker room as well so we can see what's going on. So let me trip right about here. <laughs> what? Okay, there you go. It finally pulled me in. I thought I wasn't going to get in. So we are just going to wait right here. And if the mind slave can get in, wait, I got to get rid of that bucket. Hold up. Get rid of this. Because last time I put a bucket right there and then all the people, they couldn't walk past it. Like they couldn't get around it. They're so dumb that they couldn't walk around the bucket. Okay, there's Saki. She's on the outside. And she got in. So to answer the question, guys, if you get a mind slave to go after a guy in the male locker room, they're going to go right in and they're going to whoop that monkey ass. On to the next one. One. Kill a sports club member in the pool using Easter eggs. Two, let someone tell a teacher. Three, will the teacher walk on the pool? So the only Easter egg that I know that gets people in the pool is the tornado Easter egg. So I got the dude right in the middle, right there. That is perfect. Let me see if anybody is going to notice. Because I'm going to need somebody to notice exactly where they died. So the teacher is led right to that spot. But I don't think anybody really cares. That guy swimming on the side has to see that body. He has to see it. Come on, dude, see it. Nobody notices that body right there. Are you kidding me? This guy walking up has to at least look to his left a little bit and see this body right here in the pool. Is he looking there? He kind of is. Look, his head's on a swivel. He doesn't notice it. I don't know what to do. Guys, this man is literally coming up on his friend's dead body and he doesn't even notice it. I mean, he is looking down into the water, but I can't do anything if nobody notices it. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. This four-eyed freak right here, he's a teacher's pet. He's a little snitch, and we are gonna make sure he sees with all four of his eyes the fact that I just got somebody in the pool. Who are we gonna tell him to distract? It has to be somebody that's in the pool already. I guess this guy right here. I think he's still in the pool. Mantaro. Okay, Mantaro is swimming. He is swimming his balls off. And now, he's gonna be flying his ass off. There we go. 
Did he see that? Oh my god, he died too? What the How hell? did the tornadoes hit him? I was facing this way. Okay, let's try this again. Let's get him to distract the white-haired guy because the white-haired dude is right in the middle and that's going to be the best for us. And then I am going to go in tornado mode and please don't go in the tornado, please. Please. Okay, there you go. Oh my god, is that a dead body? I kind of don't know if this is enough room because the teacher could just be chilling right here on the outside and then she could be going like this. So I don't know if this is enough room. Let's see. If she doesn't go on water, I'm going to try it again with somebody in the middle. I saw a student with horrible injuries. I think they're dead. Lead me to them. There we go. Okay, now she's coming. So all we got to do is play the waiting game. Okay, she's coming up. She's not walking on water, but I'm not surprised because this guy's on the end. And she is just running in circles. So for our first test, she is just running along the outside. But I'm going to try it with somebody on the middle and let's see if she attempts to walk on water. Okay, we got to make sure we go after the white-haired freak because he is right in the middle. He's right there. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Why is it not getting him? Come on, get him. There you go, I got him. Look at him. Dude, he's right there dead in the middle. Look at him. Bro, can you please look at him for me, por favor? You know what? Maybe we don't get him to distract anybody. Maybe he's just walking along the side and then he's going to see it regardless. So what we're going to do, we're going to tornado mode that ass. Please get him. He didn't see that. Okay, that's not good. What about the green haired guy in the middle? Come on, get him, get him. Yes, he didn't see that either. There you go. We saw somebody. Okay, we got it. It took him a while, but he finally saw somebody. So we're just going to wait for him to tell the teacher. And I think he saw this guy, the guy who's basically smelling his own toes. All right, here she comes. Everybody place your bets. Is she going to walk on water or is she going to spin in circles like an idiot? Well, I guess she's not spinning in circles. She's kind of just going back and forth a little bit, but she can't go on the water confirmed. She is just going to run on the outside and this guy is going to do the same thing. So to answer the question, she cannot walk on water. On to the next one. I found a glitch while I was playing, and it's kind of like the infinite head spawn, but with uniforms. One, kill someone in the male locker room. Two, change your uniform in the same locker room. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it, guys. We're going to wait for all of them to leave except one, so nobody tells the teacher or tries to fight me. And that's the last guy right here. So get my bats. And get over here. Ugh, stealth killed that hoe. Whoa, what just happened? He was breakdancing a little bit. Okay, so now we have to change our uniform, right? So let's go into our gym uniform and infinite spawn thing. Nope. No? Okay, I changed into my uniform, but now I can't move. What are these guys doing? I'm trying to get one guy all by himself, but it looks like they're in a sports room orgy or something. I don't know why they're in this little cluster right here. Can you stop? Can you guys please stop? There you go. Okay, so I think they're going to leave now. Okay, everybody just go. Everybody skedaddle. Thank you. Green haired guy. You're gonna stay behind me. And did I just slowly zoom into this guy? I think I did. But I'm gonna ask you for a favor. Follow me, please. We're just gonna stay right here. And maybe I have to get blood on my shirt. That's why I didn't spawn the infinite uniform glitch. So let's get you. Oh my god! Boom! There you go. And it is Laifu. Now we are just gonna change our clothes to our school uniform. And come on. Oh, and there you guys shit. go. We just got infinite uniforms on the screen right here. And I don't think it's ever going to stop. I'm pretty sure we broke the game. So let me just wait for more uniforms to fill. And let's see how slow as shit this game is going to be. Oh, yeah. This is definitely super slow because right now I'm rocking four frames per second. Oh, God. But if you guys want to try this on your own, all you got to do is end the life boot inside the male locker room, change your clothes, and bam infinite uniforms for that ass but anyway on to the last myth of today's episode okay so for this last myth i saw a lot of comments of you guys asking me to do the invisible students glitch where i have somebody stand in front of kakona then i teleport to the roof then i pour a bucket of water on the person and then they're going to become invisible once i fast forward to lunchtime after i go to class and i wanted to remember all the steps so i went back and tried to find that invisible students video and that video was over two years ago can God you guys damn. believe that but i found the step-by-step -step process of how to do it i went back and got that myth so here's how it goes okay so i found a really really creepy glitch one make sure it's monday two get a guy to follow you three wait for kakona's call four get the guy to stand right next to kakona to where he is up against her five teleport to the roof and pour water on them if you did this right they should both have a dark shade of gray for clothes six go to class seven find the guy 
and you'll see. Okay, so for that episode, I got the blue-haired guy right here. He didn't have glasses before. I guess his eyesight got worse since then. But now we have to wait for Kakona to make her phone call, and hopefully we can make the magic happen again. Okay, here she comes, guys. Let me see if I can make this happen. Wait, what? It's not polite to eavesdrop on private combos. Oh, wait. Okay, um, we gotta make this happen real quick. Oh, that's so lame. I forgot that she notices you when you stand right in front of her when she has combos. So we gotta be really sneaky about this. Okay, we got Kakona up here again. Let's see if we can do it. Hello? We gotta get him right up here before she even sees us. Okay, there you go. Damn it. Why is like he I noticing said, me? That was a one -time what? Thing. Why is he noticing me? Again. I don't understand that. I'm not doing anything, bro. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go in front of her. Go in front of her face. Whoa, come on. There you go. I think I did it. I think I did it. <gasps> right there. Okay. Uh, we got to fill this up with water. And we got to hurry up. Okay. Empty this on her. Come on. Wait. Where's the guy at? Yeah. Where did he go? Did what? Really just throw Hold up. On me? Um, the homie's gone. This? Wait, I saw him. Oh, there he is. Dang it, dude. This one's going to be really tough, guys. Let me see if I can get him to distract Kakona. I don't think he's gonna do it because she's on the phone, but let's try. I think that student is busy right now. Ask me again later. Okay, for sure. You know what? I doubt this is gonna work, but maybe if I wear a mask, they're not gonna say anything about me eavesdropping. I don't know what to do, guys, because I can't get this to work if that guy is always gonna notice me eavesdropping on a conversation. He can still notice me. This sucks. Me this school. sucks so bad. Get in front of Kakona right now. Like right now. There you go. He did it. He did it. Pour the water on her. Come on. He's right under her. Yes. Get it. No. He left last second. Oh, that rat bastard. There you go. Right there. Notice it. Okay. Let's drop the bucket. And come on. What? He moved last second. I hate this guy. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to make sure he's right behind us. There you go. And then run right behind Kakona. There you go. Got it. Okay. Pour the water. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Psych. What? He ran right before the water hit again. This guy, he's dodging water like a freaking boss. Okay, there you go, guys. He's literally right in front of her. So I'm going to pour the water on both of them. Come on. And it didn't work. Nothing happened. He's just standing in front of her. Let me see. Yeah, she's bitching and he's kind of just like, yo. Stop bitching. Okay, guys, there's Kakona and the blue-haired guy side by side. You literally can't make them get any closer. They're practically touching. So I'm going to pour water on both of them right now, and hopefully this works. Yeah. It didn't work. Did the guy really noticed her getting splashed with the bucket of water. Yeah, he looks like he's about to whisper right in her ear. And you know what he said? He said that is officially debunked. You can no longer do the invisible student split. All right, guys. But that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want me to potentially feature in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below. And I'll choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead. Dude!